Last up, how much it take to be in the 1% club? I always love these stories when I first got in because I'm like, I want to be there. I want to get that. And uh, over time, it's morphed into like these wildly ranging numbers between, you know, from now in this article, it talks about 0 0.28 to 15 Bitcoin, which I think is ridiculous. But um, here's what it all says. So 1% club is when someone's in the top 1% of Bitcoin holders. Got it. So there's the first analogy or analysis was by Jake Levison, and this is in 2002, an analyst for BlockWorks Group. He said, if you own 0.28 Bitcoin, you're statistically guaranteed to be in the richest 1% of the world in Bitcoin terms. And the problem with that, and I'll just tell you, tell you why, is because he took the total amount that would ever be uh, mined as far as Bitcoin and said 21 million divided by the total population, which was around seven and a half billion at that point, and you'd get 0 0.28. Well, there's some flaws there. First of all, um, to get all the Bitcoin mined, it's going to be in, in the year 2140. So I'll be dead. I don't really care. And the second thing is, is that that assumes that everybody is going to have their hands on Bitcoin. That's not going to happen. Okay. Seven and a half billion people. Sorry. So 0 0.28 is on the lowest side, and I don't think that's even remotely possible, but I could be wrong. And also, of course, what we just talked about in the last article, uh, where we said that, you know, you know, between two and six million Bitcoin is just gone and lost forever. And I really wish that would be uh, reflected in the price uh, for these different market caps like CoinGecko. I, I don't know if they really take that into account because, I mean, it, I just don't see how it's that low. So actually, let me go. I want to see something on CoinGecko. There is a so if you click on Bitcoin or any any cryptocurrency, whatever else, they'll talk about. Yeah, right here, circulating supply, 18.5 million. Well, that's not happening. I'm telling you that right now. Max supply is 21 million. So 18 and a half million, in reality, I think it's more like 15 and a half, 15 million, somewhere around there. And that would drastically affect the price right now. But they can't quantify that, so eh, whatever. Anyhow, and then here's the high end. 15 Bitcoin is the magic figure by Blocklink. This conclusion uh, disregards wallet and address data and assumes no lost Bitcoin again, which is dumb. And they said 15 million. Okay, so that's one part. And then also you have to remember that uh, there are multiple Bitcoin addresses. Like I personally own at least 10. Uh, they're in my various uh, nano ledgers. They're on my various uh, exchanges that I use. So on all those different addresses, I mean, it's, it's all mine. If you add them all up, I mean, I got more than one, but you know, a lot of them aren't that much, you know, 0 0.1. So if you have like 10 different addresses, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, you got one Bitcoin, but it just looks like, you know, this address is, this address XYZ, blah, 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 only has 0 0.1. And that's not how it is. It's just one person has a ton of different addresses and it's hard to uh, quantify that. And, you know, Moving down, this was the, the latest one. This is from BitInfo chart. And what it comes down to is this. It says, here's the balance of Bitcoin. Here's the how many addresses, the percent of addresses total, and the coins. So if you look at what could be the 1%, um, here's 2%. That's not bad. And the balances of those addresses, and there are 655,744 addresses that have between 1 and 10. It's about 2% people. So between somewhere between 1 and 10 is probably the sweet spot. I have to think really in in realistic terms, I think it's got to be somewhere between 1 and 2. If you got 1 and 2, between 1 and 2 Bitcoin, first, I mean, maybe you're not in the 1% or the 0.1% or whatever else it is, but it's pretty good as time goes on, especially with what's going to happen and everything that we've seen over the last couple of months. I mean, institutions are pretty much fumbling in uh we've talked about banks getting into the into the fray we've talked about big institutional players so i think if you got one or two that's you're you're way ahead of everybody else out there especially right now especially right now and of course this chart uh doesn't take to to account uh multiple wallets so that's also a problem but uh yeah if you got anywhere between one and two i mean you are way ahead of the rest of the population uh, as far as globally. So let me know what you think in the comments section. And that is it for today's video. If you're looking at an alternative to Coinbase or whatever exchanges you have, I've got the exchange of wallet fees. It's just a breakdown of all the different fees and all the different uh, interest that you can, you can gain uh, for wherever you put your cryptocurrency. Uh, my one, two, three punch, uh, Kraken, 
Celsius and Voyager. I like Celsius because I have, uh, first of all, the fees. Well, I don't really buy anything. I, I buy everything from Voyager. But then the fees for uh, Celsius are the actual interest rate that I get. I have over 30%. Now it's over 30% of my portfolio on the Celsius network, the Celsius platform. And the interest rate's pretty good. I love them. So, uh, so far, uh, doing pretty good. But you can look at everything. I got Celsius, Voyager. Uh, Gemini, Gemini Pro, Binance, Uphold, Abra, Simple Swap, Uniswap, uh, Cash App. Nah, I don't really like them. eToro, don't recommend them. And Crypto.com. So uh, take a look at that. And of course, there's uh, if you sign up, uh, use the affiliate link. Uh, you don't have to. You can go right to the uh, exchange or wallet and download it or, or sign up. But if you use the links, it gives you between $10 and $25 uh, just for signing up. And uh, that is it. So thanks again for sticking with me. If you like those types of videos, I mean, two more is going to pop up on your left and right. Don't know because uh, YouTube does all that stuff. And uh, that's all we got. So thanks again. See you on the next.